gather for a big go as they did at Winchester Speedway, you can bet our car and track crews will be on hand to cover it. You know, these little cars breed a brand of excitement all their own. And when you start 33 of them for a 100 lapper on a fast, high banked half mile track, boy, you got all the ingredients for a good old fashioned hair razor. The story of the Jerry Wall Yellow Jacket Rear Engine Midget is founded in the rapid changing world of racing technology from the mid-1960s to the early 1970s. A technology that was primarily driven by the great Lotus engineer Colin Chapman and his world champion driver Jimmy Clark. Jerry, who had already by this time enjoyed a fine career in three-quarter and full midgets, always looked for that advantage by designing and adapting cutting-edge ideas into the cars of the day. An example of this was the monocoque rear engine TQ that Jerry, along with Audie Boyd, designed on a barroom napkin and built in just a few months before debuting the car at Atlantic City's Convention Hall in January of 1971. Easily winning their heat race and only losing the feature to a broken rear upright motivated Jerry to design and develop a groundbreaking four-wheel independent full midget. With a limited amount of room behind the driver, Jerry opted for his own design custom-built V4 Chevrolet, a motor that he actually cut in half. Working like a watchmaker, Jerry fine-fitted each part with precision and expertise. His legendary gear drive unit was second to none in design, as was his suspension points and roll centers. The car would prove a masterpiece of ingenuity and would soon strike fear in the competition throughout the eastern seaboard. Winning at tracks like Star Speedway, Thompson International, and Wall Stadium, just to name a few, it created the legend known as the Yellow Jacket. An eye injury eventually sidelined Jerry from competitive racing and the car was sold. Run sporadically for a few years, the car made its way to a New Hampshire barn where it sat for many years until purchased by George Van Vierick in 2014. Enlisting the services of Dimension Design and longtime midget mechanic Joe Grandinetti, the car was meticulously documented and restored from the ground up, a process that involved hundreds of hours of deserved heart and soul. And now she sits in all of her glory waiting to be uncovered in her original state for the first time in over 43 years. So we welcome each and every one of you who lived the legend or craves the history lesson of a time of true development, a time of ingenuity, a time that changed midget racing forever. And now it's time for the Yellow Jacket to ride again. <laughs>